Uh, we're going to hear from our final presenter, Brant, or Mr. K, who will talk about gamification Mr. for training user interface skills, uh, pirate ship battle. And then he will uh, invite us on a uh, pirate ship quest. So, um, mic check. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Okay, here's my poster board. So that I would just sort of um, go into the moment, uh, into the, the idea of an immersive uh, interactive experience. Yeah, a field trip, definitely. So I think the easiest way to do this would for me to just put the slurl in chat and I'll go there. So hopefully we can all Sounds make good. it. good. Okay, do you guys see that link? Yes. Okay, let's all go there and I'll meet you there. Okay, so... Um, you can see that it, it says on the slurl that it's a uh, Git Scrooge because we did a Christmas Carol simulation uh, in the skybox far above. But uh, the idea here is to create an inner user interface of Second Life, the basic idea of walking opening things, things. Um, but the skill that I wanted to focus on was because the assignment would be for the students to build a video and as anybody who's done machinima production in Second Life uh, is familiar with, the video requires the ability to focus and pan and zoom. So how can I teach camera control skills in a fun way and motivate the students to try to learn the things that I want them to. So I think that's kind of the essence of So you can see the harbor here. Uh, we've got uh, and then one big looking pirate ship. And if you just use your camera view uh, from uh, the avatar perspective, you can try clicking on one of the uh, cannons and you'll see that it fires. So go ahead and click on a, a cannon that you see. Uh, on the pirate ship, you can also click and fire back from the little ships, the middle cannon can fire back. So the idea is to take interactive objects and make it part of the assignment, part of the, uh, the game itself. Now, from our perspective over here, it's, it's hard to really uh, utilize all the cannons. There's 50 cannons on that big pirate ship, and the goal is to sink the little ships. So, you know, death and destruction as a great motivator. I think uh, comic books have always kind of lived up to that idea. Um, but if you use camera controls and you zoom in on the pirate ship, get um, where the cannons are pointing, that I click, and you'll see that the little ships will and then it burst into flame and and then uh, sort of explode with a big puff of steam. So um, the idea here is to uh, develop, as I said, psychomotor skills required for camera control, panning, zooming, and hopefully harness that uh, fun factor to motivate the students. Ahead and try it yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it puts a bit of a load on the uh, on the um, sim, but uh, the loop around, tack on the other side of this little harbor. Yes, the pirate ship uh, doesn't explode. Uh, I'll hold on a second. I've got. Yes. Okay. There we go. Some kids' alarm just went off uh, in the background. So the ships will reset. The, the little ships will reappear. So every few minutes the game can be played again. And yeah, that is kind of the basic idea of uh, the fun factor of shooting things and um, watching them explode. It's a, basically a pretty. But the uh, purpose is to. Tr Controls. The, the idea is that if they learn the required zooming and panning, 
that they will be able to play the game more effectively. You can also play the game as a group, two or three or four. Yes, make it definitely. Um, that's the idea um, that I'm to work on as a game. Any questions or um, observations? Point here, stand they're limited. But if, for example, if anybody wants to try it from the ship and select plunder, there's at least two positions you can be at the con. There we go, Prince. And you can also get up in the, the crow's top of the mast. Perspective on the boat, it's even more clear. You have a very limited using the viewpoint from your avatar. But if you use camera, fire, win the game. Ships around here can cannonballs. So it's a pretty simple game. You know, curve down to something manageable. I'm address specific comes that I want the students to acquire. So, well, that's really, that's, um, that's basically my presentation. Um, I thought it'd be more fun than just a, a slideshow to kind of um, be in the moment, immerse yourself in the experience, and try it on yourself. Mm -hmm.